So the, we've been misled by our administration on what's being done. But those ports, uh, it seems like the problem is multifold in, in, in terms of getting the ships in, the cargo in, the cargo shipped and then delivered. So they lied. Shocker. Shocker there. Wow. Mm-hmm. They, that, it's no, 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 no surprise there. So you ever know, you, you see the pictures of the ports and all the container ships that they're holding containers and they're called container ships because they're holding containers. Those are standardized containers because once they hit port, they're offloaded off, off the ships and then they're unloaded either. Well, they could be warehouse, but they're, if, you, if, if they're in, important to, to the commerce, they're lo- loaded onto either train rails or, or trucks. And they're the same equipment. It's the same box. It's filled with stuff. They put it right on the back of a flatbed of a truck and 18 wheel and it goes, or they put it in, in a long string of a train and it goes. Well, so that's great if they can get the ports, you can get this stuff off the water where it's rotting and dying. And get, hopefully your, your couch isn't getting gross because it's out in the water. So <laughs> right. well, but it's, that's fine if they can get it to port, but then they're just going to stick in the warehouse because they don't have enough truckers. They don't have enough rail. They don't have enough workers to, to load the stuff onto the onto the trucks and the rails and get it to people. And then once it gets there, they don't have enough people in grocery stores to unpack the stuff. I mean, yeah. it goes all the way down the line. I saw a stat yesterday. And this is this is another reason why prices are going up. A meat processing plant, and I believe it was Iowa, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in the Midwest. Meat pro- processing plant meat was such it's it such a shortage for workers. They were offering an eight thousand dollar signing bonus, and some it's exorbitant number per hour, but eight thousand dollars just to sign with them because they need workers that badly. So wow. if that's the case, even if they had the meat to, that was being slaughtered, they needed to be packaged, and then they needed to be shipped again. So all down the line, this whole idea of paying people to stay home, it sounded good. And maybe the stock market goes up because because people are speculating with their free money. But what's happening is people are the, the, the average worker, the, 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 um, the $20, $15 an hour worker doesn't want to do it anymore. I can stay home and make 15 bucks now. Why would I, why would I do it? Or they'll figure out a way to go work five hours, get paid on off the books and still take their government check and, and cash it. That's why, nope. that's why prices are going up there's a okay lot but wait let me let me there. challenge you on that because i didn't the biden unemployment payments stop in early september and what i read in the papers the papers tell me eric bowling that uh that there's a lingering effect of covid um in terms of the reduced production of goods that you know we we weren't buying as as many i guess during the lockdowns and that personal spending on goods is up 20 percent this year this august versus august of 2020 we've spent an additional 900 billion on goods this year so we've we're getting our spend back on because we're out of quarantine and we're like yeah feels good i want some i want some couches and i want some merchandise and that they just can't keep up like it's mm-hmm. everything was shut down and there's sort of a hang over from slowed manufacturing from when we weren't buying that and now there's this huge new demand and the, the papers tell me it's not about oil and gas and it's not about the joe biden unemployment no it, it, it absolutely is about oil and gas and it, it is about employment because we can't get people to, to process the, the reason why okay i hate to get monkey here but it's, it's economics 101 there's 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 supply and demand and we have massive pent up demand that's being unleashed right now because you're right for 18 months we were staying home now we want to go out and buy stuff you know retail therapy so to speak we want to buy stuff we want to travel we want to do things we go to restaurants so demand is huge right now given and that's great for the economy but the problem is supply is tight because we can't get workers to produce the stuff that we're trying to buy we can't get workers to produce the the jackets or the tires of the new car or the cars or the, we can't get people to produce this stuff so supply stays stagnant or down or even because we can't produce enough to meet demand and what does that do on 100 percent of the time makes prices go up that's mm-hmm. where we are the problem is if prices stay high and we stop paying people to stay home and people want to go out and, and, and things start to open up you're going to have a situation where prices are remaining high and people can't afford it, what, what they used to be able to afford. Mm-hmm. Right now, people are kind of being able to, I hate guys like me who used to come on and say, oh my gosh, uh, the world's going to hell because prices are going up and and, and it, it just, it, it, the economy looks so bad, yet everything got better year after year. This, this things are getting better year after year, but they're, it's artificially financed by the government. We're spending yeah. trillions upon trillions of dollars. Sounds great, right? Okay, let's keep doing it. You know what? There's something to be said about keep doing it. If no one says, hey, enough, you guys, we're not going to loan you any more money, like China, then everything's fine. But here's the risk, and there is a risk. 
China is China plays the long game. We play the very, very short game with what's happening this week, this month, this year. China plays for five, 10, 15 years down the road. China builds cities in anticipation of an industry being strong and, they'll, and the industry will grow into the cities that China's already built. China plays the long game. They're holding a lot of our debt. If there were a case where they go, you know what? You guys are fiscally ridiculous. We can't, we would not, it wouldn't be smart for us, China, to continue to invest in your country by buying your debt. We're in severe, we're, we go into severe, severe shop. We can't self sustain. And if, if we don't have China to keep buying our stuff. Now, there's another theory that says, well, China better do that. Otherwise, we're their biggest customer and, and they would blow out our customer. It's almost like a wink and a nod be- between the two to see who's going to blink first. Problem is we don't have any of the cards. We don't have the cards. To- well, it certainly doesn't suggest that we're going to get involved to save Taiwan or Hong Kong um, if Correct. China decides. Correct. Yeah, right. It's like they decide to do right. the Pac-Man gobble of those of those cities, uh, countries that then forget about it. Like we're not going to intervene.